Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at what equilibrium constants tell us, how temperature affects these equilibrium constants, how concentration and pressure affect the equilibrium constants, how catalysts affect the equilibrium constants, and finally we'll summarise. So in previous videos, both this year and last year, we've introduced the equilibrium constant for equilibrium reactions. We've looked at two kinds, the concentration, Kc, equilibrium constant, and the pressure, Kp, equilibrium constant. And what they actually tell us is how far a reaction has progressed. They tell us whether the equilibrium mix is weighted towards products or towards the reactants. If we had an equilibrium that had an even mix of products and reactants, then the equilibrium constant is 1. This shows that the equilibrium is halfway between the products and the reactants. So we can demonstrate that with our picture below by having our scales completely balanced between the products and the reactants. Remember that the units of K depend on the specific reaction and can be worked out based on the expressions for K you've learned how to build in other videos. So let's think about what it means for the equilibrium constant K to be greater than 1. Well, we have the expression for K written out here, and it's a fraction. If Kc or Kp is going to be greater than 1, then the top part, the numerator of the fraction, has to dominate. This means the equilibrium must lie further towards the products because the products are what goes in the top of the expression for Kp. So we can show that with this picture where the balance is tipped towards the products and this would happen when the equilibrium constant K is greater than 1. The larger K is means that the reaction is more and more product favoured and the right-hand side of the equilibrium reaction dominates more and more with larger k. Let's think about the other case where the equilibrium constant k is going to be less than 1. If the bottom of the expression for kc is larger, so we have the bottom or denominator dominating, this means that the equilibrium must lie further towards the reactant side of the equation. So, if a reaction has a small k value less than 1, this means it's reactant favoured, and the left-hand side of the equilibrium equation dominates. So we can summarise what we think have learnt about k by thinking about this positive scale. Hey guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise, examboard specific A-level chemistry videos, just click the snap revised smiley face here. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.